Now it's time for us to go for the patch management with Azure Arc service onboarded. So let's say if you have already service that are onboarded, you could you know open up the Azure Arc, simply type here Azure Arc, and then go to your service. Uh, within this, you have a service. So you could see here there are three different servers uh, are onboarded. Uh, there are two servers which are Windows and one with the Linux server. So these three servers are specific. I wanted to see the complaints or the patches that are available. Then or if I want to you know update manually each server, let's say each server I said, OK, not as a consolidator, then you have an option to you know click on the server. In this case, let's say if I want you know click on the server called the application server one, I should be able to you know go back to the updates within this or if you just click on here update it actually goes to the that service specific updates and you should be able to see what are the updates are available on that specific server and i should be able to uh, check for update this is gonna check the current state uh, of the update so it just goes to the microsoft update server and pull up all the updates that are available on that server and next uh, if you click on one time update what would happen is you could go for uh, patching these patches on this specific device at the one time. Let's say this is the uh, I don't want to you know make it as a monthly update, but instead of you know one time patch, then this would be the right option. So a use case could be your out of band patch. You want you to do it on a right away, then this is the best option, right? And there's something called a scheduling options, which will allow you to you know schedule on that uh, specific day and time and with a maintenance window time of number of hours that you want to put it, the server into the maintenance on that specific day and time it could be a second tuesday or third tuesday or fourth tuesday or whatever the options that you have within the scheduling that can be done from here so let me quickly uh, go through the one time and then you know schedule but i'm not going to schedule this but i would like to run with the wizard you know so that you know you know what's happening so once you click on a check for update uh, you can you know um, patches will be visible then simply uh, look at here nine pending updates. Let's say this is a one time. So I want to add one more server also simply click on add and then you could you know add one more server also as a one time. So this mission has a five. This mission has a nine pending update. So simply click on next and uh, you should be able to see all the updates that are available. But however, you want it just to include a specific classification. Uh, for example, I just wanted only critical and security simply save that so it will go ahead Ahead and you know revalidate and if you see there are only five applicable updates now at the same time you wanted to you know uh, exclude some of the updates let's say I don't want um, for example that not framework specific uh, let's say this is the update I don't want so what I can do is I can simply exclude by a KB and simply give this KB number and if you want you know add one more then automatically it will exclude to that specific one and similarly if i don't want one more i can simply go back here the specific kb and exclude add and this time it becomes as a three only update you see the advantages that you have within this tool it's so easy uh, in order to manage or uh, in case if you just want to you know, include you should be able to you know include so what all the things we have uh, so far talked we talked about the update classification we included excluded specific updates so so that you know only you are going to patch a specific one example this specific patch then you would be you know, using the include option and instead we have actually chosen the exclude out of all the patches so that that means these three are included that's what it means now include maximum patch published uh, date so this is where it says that only updates are uh, published on or before a specific date only should be in our plan let's say you know you might have in you know, a complaints policies that only within the specific till let's say this is a january and you want to you know patch up to uh, december you have an option to you know choose here or to the current state or current date uh, till the patches should be you know uh, applied as per your compliance policy so you have these options my friends okay now let's go to the next option and this is where the reboot option so do you want to you know reboot or never reboot you would like to completely suppress the re reboot option in that case you know you could do that never reboot 
hey, you patch my machine, but don't reboot so that I would log in and I would, you know, manually reboot the server. Or you want to you know, do it after the reboot, you should be you know, choose always reboot or reboot if only required. If not, you know, don't reboot it. So that's how you should be able to do it. And now you have a minutes of time. So how many minutes you want to you know, uh, put the server into the maintenance window? There could be you no know, 235 minutes that what you want to you know, apply. And then you could, oh, uh, you could, you know, click on that and simply uh, patch it. That's what you can, you know, do it, this configuration. Let's say I, now that's an option for uh, how to patch as a one time. Now let's have a look on how could you schedule it as a monthly activity. Uh, so for that, what are the steps to be performed? So all you have to do is again, go back to the update management. So simply we talked about the single server. Now we're going to talk about the multiple servers. So uh, that's where you would be using the uh, update management center. So simply type here as the update management center. And uh, this is the uh, single console, which will be used for the patching. So if you want to do it again, you know, one, one time, you should be able to do it from one time. And other one would be the schedule update. So this time we are going to use the schedule update. And uh, here you should be able to choose the resource group that you want to choose and the configuration name. So this is the configuration name that we are going to choose it. So in my case, I would like to give here as the monthly patching. So monthly patching. So monthly patching, and this is going to be again a maintenance code for uh, here. You should be using for the. So the first option would be for your host, uh, for your Azure VMs or isolated VMs, and this is the option for OS images, VMSs, and this is for guest as the Azure VM or Arc enabled server. So we would be choosing the last option, or uh, not for the host, and then if it is really needed, uh, we would be you not know, choosing the required report. And this is where you have an option for the schedule. So if I just click on schedule, you have an option. Hey, when do you want to start? For example, I wanted to start from here, but I wanted this should happen on a specific day and time. For example, I want this to be repeated every month on um, first or the second or third of a specific day. For example, I would like to you know, patch it of the last Sunday I wanted to patch uh, during maybe I wanted at the time of example 11 or 12 a.m. That's what I can you know choose here. In this case, you know it's a 12 a.m. That's a perfect time of the local uh, time from here. So this is the you know time zone again. Okay, so you should be you know, sure that you know what is the time zone you are you know specifying here. And after that, uh, days after you want to you know expire this. Uh, you could you know set it but in my case i'm not setting and you want to you know, end it at a specific day and time so that uh, it's going to run on a couple of for example only 12 months time after that it's going to expire and you have to revisit this wizard to make it again automate for example so you have these are the options that are available so simply choose as the save it's gonna uh, say that hey you're gonna you patch know, it on a so it's a specific day and the maximum maintenance hours are four hours means from 12 a.m. to close to 4 a.m. between the patches can be applied and select the machines. This is where you should be you know, selecting the machines that are available from the Azure Arc. So in my case, I want to patch every possible machine example. So simply select these and click on next. And this is where uh, the criteria that you want to include, for example, critical updates and security updates and also for the Linux same kind of you know patches you want to you know apply at the same time you should be able to you know exclude the options that we have for the uh, similar way for the single uh, server patching you should be able to do it and additional tagging can be done and that's it uh, once you have uh, reviewed this entire configuration simply create this maintenance configuration so in my case is still validating this entire thing once it is validated i should be able to click on create this is going to create for me the entire configuration and uh, if I just go back, once it is done, go back to Update Manager, I should be able to see this configuration. The currently deployment is in progress. Let's wait for a minute. The deployment is successful. Now I should be able to go back to the uh, service and you see here monthly patching as a service. I should be able to see here what are the things that I have configured. So I have included Windows and Linux 
and also this is my schedule repeats on every last Sunday of the month uh, with the three hours I could you know add one more update uh, for the maintenance so this is how you're gonna manage so you simply go to your update management server and then click on your maintenance if you have already uh, scheduled so if you see here there's a pending windows update uh, 5 in 2 security uh, machine so on a linux machine there is no update for available at this point of time and these are the three machines are available at this point of the pending reboot all of that you know it will be showing in the proper method if you wanted to see the current status how it is going to deployment uh, for example we have done already for the one-time update that's manual so simply click on history this is where it's going to show you uh, for example on these two machines it's actually in progress so if you just click on this uh, the updates operation is ongoing currently on that uh, specific machine so you should be able to you know get it and once it is done if you see here it's a manual update and once it's done it would you know uh, report back with the compliance and let's say you want to know in some kind of you know data to uh, get more information for example uh, this one so you should be able to you know filter here like i just want only critical this is a dashboard you know uh, so that it will show you the critical the security updates so these are uh, available and in case if you want to you know custom things you have an option for open query so this is gonna uh, open up the uh, kql's um, query to run and uh, you should be able to run this query to get more information here and uh, this is the chart so this uh, kql query can be you know customized just in case if you want to you know use it so this query is running based on your log analytics in the back end because that's where the data is popular and for the schedule that we have done for the every month schedule if you want to you know modify or you want to you know, delete or add some more uh, schedules you just have to go to the maintenance configurations so this is where maintenance configuration is available uh, in this case we have configured for the azure vms as well as org specific so this is a monthly configuration that what we have created uh, uh, for the patch management so you should be able to see your schedules uh, here uh, that's a configuration what we have done actually in, on that specific time zone and even the updates that what we have are uh, what we try to you know push it so the scoped virtual machines also can be fine here if you don't want you can simply you know take out here or include additional service or you want to have one more configuration you should be able to do it uh, from the maintenance configuration so the maintenance configuration would be you know, useful in order to uh, scope your service or for the patch management i hope this uh, short lecture is useful for you